What's up, what's up? You are now taking the Euro step through the pro journey with Brian Starr. Go dummy, Kyle. Yeah, that's my woe, that's my slime. We gon' get her back every time. You can't get none of my bitches, they mine. Me from the back while she all get her spine. Riding the whip and I'm hitting the dash. Got a new bitch and she like to move fast. Man, so far I can't even lie. Coach has been killing us at practice. You know, we've been going strong three days for every day this month. So today he gave us a gift. He said, um, you know, today was going to be a light recovery and, um, you know, recovery day, basically. I think we all, I think we all can agree that our bodies needed that rest. So today we're just doing some light drills with the med ball, some stretching, and then we're straight to the saunas and ice baths. So far, I'm liking uh, the direction our team is headed in. This uh, group is uh, real competitive. Um, and so far, everybody seems to be getting along, you know. We're still trying to build that team chemistry and everything, but I think we're on pace to have a real good season this year. The imports this year are hilarious. They turn everything into a joke. So it makes it easier to be around the guys this year. It makes it easier to get through workouts, even the ones I really don't like that much. But, you know, my guy Dev, he turns everything into a joke, like I said, look at him. <laughs> So yeah, he brings like a like a fun vibe to the gym, you know, because everybody's so serious, especially me, you know, especially when I get real competitive. So, you know, it's good having that guy that, that cracks jokes and, you know, just lightens the mood up sometimes. Uh, as you can see, our uh, trainer put us through a light um, med ball circuit where we basically just, uh, you know, we do cardio with the med ball. We do like high knee. We do every workout today will be with the med ball, light reps, just something to keep us active, something to keep us, uh, you know, keep our bodies warm, something to get a sweat going, but nothing too serious. Like I said, my body needed that because I couldn't do another two a day. After a tough couple weeks of practice, Coach uh, finally gave us uh, something like a day off. It was a recovery day where we kind of just, uh, you know, broke a little sweat, got a good stretch in, you know. Um, now I'm headed to the cold tub, try to ice these muscles, and then right from there I'm going to the sauna. I'm maybe thinking me and the, uh, the imports might go grab something to eat, go out to eat you know, hang out, relax, and kind of just catch up and talk about everything that's been going on. Because honestly, I'm a little burnt out on basketball right now, so I just need to relax, hang out with the guys. This, this day was much needed. At this point in my career, ice baths and the recovery process is just important as the practicing and the, the workouts. It's all about uh, having longevity and keeping your body healthy for a long period of time. So, you know, I used to, in college, I used to, you know, dread getting in this, getting in the pool, in the ice pool, but now I look forward to it. It's my favorite part. <laughs> I can't wait to get out of practice so I can hop in that ice cold tub. You know, it just makes your muscles feel like you, it makes your muscles feel amazing. Like, it's the best feeling in the world after you get a good stretch, you hop in that cold tub. And it's the first time I had a sauna at my facility. So yeah, I'm taking full advantage of all that. I need it. You know, it's important to take care of your body before the injuries, before you get the little bruises and the little nicks and knacks here and there. It's good to be proactive. I've been blessed so far to not have any serious injuries knock on wood so far. You know, last season I had the shoulder injury, but that was that was a minor injury for real, you know. I, I'm blessed to not have any lower body injuries, and you know.
I take pride in taking care of my body because you know the body is what's making the money right now. So you can't never short short stop the you can't never shortcut the cut the recovery process. Woo! See that right there? That's the grind right there. Just taking everything one step at a time. You know we had to. Uh, we had the workout, then we had the full body recovery with the ice bath, and then right from the ice bath, I went to the sauna. Uh, see, overall, I feel like that is the difference between being a college athlete and being a professional athlete. Like, right after practice, I had class, and then right after class, I had to make sure I ate. It's like you have a routine, you have to study, whereas now it's just like, I could put 100% of my focus in the basketball, whether that be recovery, um, you know, just everything that comes with the grind. Like back at Towson, I never got an ice bath. I never, I, if I did, it was really fast. But you know, it's, it feels good to just be able to take my time with this grind and really focus on everything I'm doing. So yeah. In the April of 2018, uh, while I was down at school my senior year, I had got a call from my grandmother that my father was shot to death, him and his girlfriend. Um, I don't want to give too many details about the situation because it's still heavy on my heart, but uh, it was something like a home invasion. So I decided um, to get a tattoo in uh, memory of my father. I'm going to take off. I've been working all my life. I was holding it down in front of a crowd. I got an incredible sound to talk of the town. But shit ain't ever been realer than now. I ain't joking around. Not even when I had to get out the house. I was lining them up and then taking them down. And I ain't fucking around. Name a nigga raw as me. I'm trying to meet them. Hey. They think they can fuck with me, but they can't see us. Nah. I can't do no shit for free. I got my reasons. Thanks. I know I can't drop my shit till it's my season. Hey. Cause niggas is wild. I've been holding it down. The family proud. The talk of the town. Who running it now? Suka, Previet, Kadila, Soy, Demi, Kui. No? No. Uh. Uh, that's it, that's all I got. Again. And peace the bull. Yeah, that's it. So, coach said we're going to get right into it. Uh, we're going to start off with stretches and a little warm up, and then right after that, we get right into the competing uh, competition drills. So, I'm looking forward to all the shenanigans. It's lit. I'm ready because this is the first time we've gotten to go up and down since uh, we've got the new Americans and the new imports on the team. So, I'm going to uh, be able to see what everybody's got, basically show them, show the team, show the, show the uh, coaching staff why they brought me back a second year. Man, we got off to a rough start. We started off down. Uh, coach kind of, I don't think he balanced the teams right, but it's all right. I think he's trying to see basically what everybody's made of. He know I'm real. He know I can get real competitive and fired up sometimes. So we just going to see how this goes, but I still don't see us losing this scrimmage. All right, boom. We finally got a shot to go down. My assist. Now it's time to get myself going. I was, it was lit when I got that corner three to fall. I needed that. It seems like uh, sometimes it's hard for me to get my own shot off because I have to create for others. So sometimes I like playing off the ball, but I have to have a trustworthy person at the point guard position to get me the ball when in, in the right spots at, at the right time. So I hope, I hope, I hope the other guard on the floor can bring it. Man, not only was I at a disadvantage with the team that coach put me on, but coach is also cheating. I literally led the league in steals last year, and he's going to call that a foul? This is crazy. As if they needed any more help. They would hit the game-winning shot right after that call, man. Coach is crazy. That pissed me off. I can't even sit up here and act like I, like I ain't pissed. Still got to finish out practice strong, no? Shooting drills next. Got to work on my uh, form shooting it. So, basically, today I kind of lost my cool a little bit just because my team, we basically lost almost every drill so 
usually that doesn't happen and I know it's a long season but I don't want to start off the season like that but um, overall I think uh, we're making progress as a team and we're just kind of getting the feel for everybody's game so I guess I could take some good things out of that uh, practice so moving forward I just want to uh, basically get to know everybody's game and uh, I wish coach would combine us with the American combine the American put us on the same team more often but I guess right now we're just competing and I'm fine with that tomorrow it will be, the, be a different outcome